So psych up your mind that today is not just like any other service. It's extremely important. It's extremely special. It's different. And there are angels that have been assigned to this service with blessings for you. Hallelujah. So purpose in your heart to leave this place with what God has for you in Jesus. Let's just begin to open our mouth and then bless the name of the Lord. Just speaking thanks and magnify the Lord. Speaking thanks and magnify the Lord. In the book of Acts, the Bible said, and they spoke in thanks and they magnified the Lord. Your thanksgiving is the way of you magnifying and exalting the name of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus, man, no shake at the Reba sonda bara ba 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 ba. Reba shanda bara ba 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 ba. Eh le sonda badiza tianda badiza. Le koshenda bara ba 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 ba. Le basenda bara ba 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 ba. Re kashanda bara ba 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 ba. Le brasonda bara ba ba ba. Luke twenty four. Luke twenty four. Let's read from verse thirty. Luke twenty four. Thank you, Jesus. It's read, and it came to pass, as he sat at meat with them, he took bread and blessed it and break it and gave it to them. There's the account of when Jesus had resurrected. Hallelujah. 31. It says, and their eyes were opened, and they knew him, and he vanished out of their sight. 32. And they said one to another, Did not our heart burn within us? While he talked with us by the way, while he opened to us the scriptures, hallelujah. This morning, scriptures are going to be opened to us, hallelujah. And you want to pray for the eyes of your understanding, you want to pray concerning your heart. That let this be my experience, God. Even as the word comes, let my heart be ignited towards your word, hallelujah. Because trust me, the, the word of God that brings impact and change and transformation, the word of God that you experience practically in your life is the word that, is, that, is, that sinks into your heart. And not just what you're able to receive in your head. So we are praying that even as the word comes to us, our heart bend and our heart, the word is mixed with faith in our heart and our eyes are open to the truth and the reality of the word of God in the name of Jesus. Just open your mouth and begin to pray. An experience with your word, oh God. Even as the scriptures are expounded unto us, Reko Sonda di Satianda Badosha, Ibalo Seca di Anda Baraba Baba Baba Baba, Le Mando Seca di Azatianda Baraba Baba 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 Baba. Thank you, Jesus, that every heart in this auditorium, every heart that is joined to us online in the name of Jesus, receive an experience of your word in the name of Jesus. It's time to worship the Lord. I want you to lift up your voice and say thank you, Jesus. I want you to magnify the name of the living God. Thank you, Father. 
Hey, ba 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 ba. Just wave your hands and say thank you, Jesus. Wave your hands all to the Lord. Rego City and say thank you, Jesus. Ra ba 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 ba. Hey, ba lo ko sataya. Rego Zende de 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 de. Thank you, Jesus. We are grateful. Hey, ba lo ko sataya. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, ba 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 ba. Power and might belongs to our God forever and ever. Amen. Power and might belongs to our God forever and ever. Thank you, Jesus. 
His name is Ayo, the one and the other. His name is Jesus, the King of Glory. His name is Ayo, the one and the other. His name is Jesus. Oh, Ray goes in the He is the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Ray goes in the Just bless his name. Bless the name of the living God. Ray goes in the All honor belongs to him. Ray goes in the Hey, Singing songs and hymns. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Just bless his name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You deserve the glory. And the honor, Lord, we lift our hands to worship as we bless your holy name. You deserve the glory and the honor, Lord, we lift our hands in worship. As we praise your whole, you deserve, you deserve the glory oh, and the honor. Oh, as we lift our hands, as we praise your holy name. As 
we pray. Oh, for you I pray. Oh, you the miracle so great. There is no one else like you. Hey, there is no one else like you. For you are great. You the miracle so great. to the Lord and give him glory. Kora di da 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 ba shete le ba do shataya Kora ba da ba shanta da 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 ba he de 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 wo shataya Thank you Jesus Kora ba da da ba shataya he ke de 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 wo shataya Thank you Jesus Kora ba da ba shataya Kora ba da ba shataya Hallelujah Hallelujah Hallelujah! Are you glad to be in the presence of the Lord? Then give the Lord a mighty shout! Glory! Glory! It's time to minister unto the Lord. We are still praising and worshiping the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And I want you to engage your heart in what we are doing. Hallelujah. Don't just sing, don't just dance, hallelujah. You know how to engage your heart. As you praise, focus on God. Let your attention be on God, hallelujah. Give the Lord a mighty shout. Glory! Glory! Glory be to my Lord, hallelujah. Glory be to my Lord. Hallelujah, glory be to my Lord. Hallelujah, glory be to my Lord. Hallelujah, glory be to my Lord. Yes, only walk on what's my meal. Jesus is my Lord, I'll praise him forevermore. Jesus is my Lord, I'll praise him forevermore. Jesus is my Lord, I'll praise him forevermore. I'll praise him. 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 I'
praise him. I'll praise him. I'll praise him. Mumba Yesu say Give the Lord a shout. Mumba Yesu say
Look at the person's face. Let the person see that I have seen you. And tell the person that, Charlie, you have to be careful. I know you. Some time ago, in some club, at some parties, I know what you can do. Hallelujah. You see, if you are not ready to dance today, you are not going to enjoy the service. You know, there are some people who forget what Pastor says. But if you remember what Pastor said last week, you know that you shouldn't have worn heels today. So if you are wearing heels, it's a sign. It's a sign that you've forgotten what Pastor said. So check the nearest lady and see what the lady is wearing. Hallelujah. Are you in the church? Can I show you a scripture? It's a scripture we all know. It's in 2 Samuel chapter 6. Let's read the last two verses. Okay. This is concerning David when he disgraced himself. So let's read from verse 20. You know the story, right? So David went to dance anyhow. Somebody went to say it, and the verses, blah, blah, blah. And David returned to bless his household. And Michal, the daughter of Saul, came out to meet David and said, How glorious was the king of Israel today. <laughs> Let's read the message. <laughs> you know, some of you, you've never dated yourself in church before. You check yourself, you know. Never. Never. You're a big man. You're a big woman. Today, you see the kind of dance that when nobody is watching you dance. Today, you are, we are bringing it out today. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah. Says that <laughs> David returned to bless his family. Michal, Saul's daughter, came out to greet him. Says, how wonderfully. The king has distinguished himself today. He was being sarcastic. She was being sarcastic. Can you imagine? Exposing himself to the eyes of the servant mates. Hey! What word is that? I've not seen this before. Like some 
Brr, street dancer. Hey! Are you seeing it? She said that David was dancing like a street dancer. Today is a street dancing service. Yeah. Now, there are a lot of things to see here. Okay. Next verse. Verse 21. You let's read the whole thing. Then I'll point out some things to you so that to prepare you. Okay. It says, David replied to Michal, in the presence of God, I danced. You know, sometimes when somebody is dancing and the person is fooling, you think the person is dancing for you. But one big secret that you will learn that will change your life is that nobody comes to church for you. Not in this church. Nobody can, I don't come for you. And the person sitting next to you does not come for you. You'll be surprised. You said, oh, somebody is looking at me. You'll be shocked that nobody has seen you. Yeah. Now you come next week and nobody remembers you. That you are the one that in yourself. Because we come to the presence of God. Hallelujah. He says, I'll dance all I want. He chose me over your father and the rest of your family and made me prince over God's people, over Israel. Oh, yes, I'll dance to God's glory. Hallelujah. Next verse. More recklessly. <laughs> Even than this, and as far as I'm concerned, I'll gladly look like a fool. Says, but among these mates you are so worried about, I'll be honored. No end. Next verse. Mikhail Saul's daughter was barren for the rest of his life. Now, this is what I want you to see. This was a discussion between husband and wife. It's a family matter. Do you understand? Like, my husband is dancing in a way that it's not fine. And I'm telling my husband that she's dancing in the way that is not fine. If she didn't complain, nobody would have known that God was watching. Nobody would have imagined. It was from her complaint that we see that God was all the while. Like God was seeing that David is fooling. And God liked it. And God was quiet. Until somebody came to complain. And God said, why are you complaining? Yeah. All the while, God was seeing it. As he was dancing, coming, and fooling around. Charlie, you can imagine the wedding day. You can imagine how the dance would have looked like. Oh. It will not be <laughs> it will not be something nice. It will not be easy, sincerely speaking. Yeah. But God was watching. And God was quiet. And David was dancing because of something. He said that God chose, David knew that if the accounting king saying, I'm not part. Maybe some of you, you are, you get it, maybe you are some big shots from somewhere. But some of us, <laughs> we know, <laughs> we know ourselves. We know that if God was not inside the equation, I mean, where are we passing? Like, what do we have to offer? Yeah. For us to walk from January, go through February, March, April, May, June, July, traveling back and forth. Some of you, when you are eating, you don't wash your hand. Some of you guys, you eat anything you find. Every food joint you have eaten from there before. You don't know where they cook their food from. You don't know what is in their food. You just bless it and then you eat it. Some of you have never been to the hospital this year. Yeah. No hospital bed has seen your back. Hallelujah. Some of you finished school. Hey. Tell you, you finish school. <laughs> you finish school. When you got the admission, everybody gets admission and then there is jubilation. When you got the admission, your mother started crying. Because there is no school fees. There is no hostel fees. There, but you have finished school. 
Yeah. Some of you have gotten jobs. Some of you are married. Yeah. Hey. Man of God. Did you believe you could marry? Maybe you've not done wedding, so you don't know how much money goes into wedding. Yeah. <laughs> like things have happened for us. I, I won't lie to you. As a ministry, listen, churches finished doing this COVID 19. They finished. Just a day I was sitting in a trotro. A pastor was like, I was sad. He was lamenting that he doesn't know what to do. He doesn't know where his people are. He doesn't know where to start from. He just wants to give up. So I was getting there. I told him that, Charlie, don't give up. It'll work. Everything will come back. But for us, as a ministry, we saw more growth during COVID-19 season. Can you believe it? When people were crying that their money is finished as a church, COVID-19, we saw more money. We built Tessaros during COVID-19. Do you understand what is going on? God has been in our midst throughout. Hallelujah. So when we say we are praising God, and you are standing there, you are now doing your diplomatic. <laughs> How lovely are the mountains of the feet of them who bring good news. Good. <laughs> do you know what we do? We just look at you like this. And then we just pass by you with our dance. Because we know God is watching. Yeah, we know God is watching. So today, Charlie, all of you remove the heels and put it somewhere. We, we didn't come and do heels things here. Remove it, remove the heel and throw it somewhere. Hallelujah. You can even remove your tusha and put it somewhere. Yeah. Hallelujah. When daddy starts ministry, we'll pack some of the chairs that are not in use. We we'll need space. And we'll dirty ourselves for Jesus. Then when we finish, we'll clean ourselves and then we'll walk gentle. And go back home. Yeah. Because we know. Listen, we know our God. Yes. We'll not wait for anybody to come and tell us. We know our God. Hallelujah. So if we start the second side of the praises and you are stagnant, oh, we will not judge you. We will just assume that the Holy Spirit says stand still. That is your praises. We will, I will assume. But they will dance and like will dance around you. So I'm just saying this so that as you are standing still, don't insult anybody. That's the only reason why I'm saying what I'm saying. Because God is watching. Because I know I, I don't trust some people in this church. I know some people will come and be rolling around and doing something. I don't like. I know. So I'm I'm just preparing you. Do you understand? Uh -huh. I'm just preparing you, so that as somebody's rolling around, as somebody's somersaulting, just understand that <laughs> God has done something for that boy. God has done something for that girl. Yes, God has done something. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is the one I woke up, I was thinking about my life this year. This year, like, I noticed, I've seen so much money this year. Like, the money I've seen this year is more than the money I've had in the last five years. Yes. The money that has left me to people this year will be more than what has left me in the last five years put together. Yes. So God has done some for me. And as I was thanking God, I've seen 2021. <laughs> you know what God told you? God told me that, listen, I will bless you. And I'll take you all around the world. I said, but I am not. He said, no, no, but. Watch me, I'll do it. Yeah. So as you are praising, God talks to you. So some of you are going to hear God today. Concerning your 2021. I don't know if you are ready. This one, I'm just preparing you. So we, have, we still have ministrations in the house. Hallelujah. 
So can we get this off? Hallelujah. And let's invite beautiful feet. So as you are sitting down, you are just be planning and rehearsing your dance in your mind. Hallelujah. So let's invite beautiful feet with a round of applause. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Do you believe our God is mighty? Do you believe he's all powerful? Hallelujah. Can we read something from Exodus chapter 14, verse 21? Wow. 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 I want us to read it together. Hallelujah. One, two. And Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and the Lord caused the sea to go back by a strong east wind all that night, and made the sea dry land, and the waters were divided. Next verse. And the children of Israel went into the midst of the sea upon the dry ground, and the waters were a wall unto them on their right hand and on their left. Next verse. And the Egyptians pursued and went in after them into the mist, even all Pharaoh's horses, his chariots and his horsemen. Next verse. Through the pillar of fire, and of the cloud, and troubled the host of the Egyptians. Next verse. 
and took off their chariot wheels, that they dragged them heavily, so that the Egyptians said, Let us flee from the face of Israel, for the Lord fighted for them against the Egyptians. Next verse. And the Lord said unto Moses, Stretch out thine hand over the sea, that the waters may come again upon the Egyptians, upon their chariots, and upon their horsemen. Next verse. And Moses stretched forth his hand over the sea, and the sea returned to his strength when the morning appeared. And the Egyptians fled against it. And the Lord overthrew the Egyptians in the midst of the sea. Next verse. And the waters returned and covered the chariots and the horsemen and all the host of Pharaoh that came into the sea after them. There remained not so much as one of them. Next verse. But the children of Israel walked upon the dry land in the midst of the sea, and the waters were a wall to them on their right hand and on their left hand. Thus the Lord saved Israel that day out of the hand of the Egyptians, and Israel saw the Egyptians dead upon the seashore. And Israel saw that great work which the Lord did upon the Egyptians, and the people feared the Lord and believe the Lord and his servant Moses. Hallelujah. Our God is so mighty. Hallelujah. I see him making a way for you today. Hallelujah. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Let us give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good and his mercies endures forever. Praise the Lord, all ye heavens, Praise the Lord from the heights. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, all you his angels. Praise the Lord, all his hosts. Praise the Lord, ye heavens of heavens. Praise the Lord, the waters that be above the heavens. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for he spoke a word, and they were made. The kings of the earth and all the people, praise ye the Lord. The princes and all the judges of the world, praise ye the Lord. Both young men and maidens, both old men and children, let us praise the name of the Lord. For his name alone is excellent, and his name alone deserves to be praised. Praise ye the Lord. See, he is the one that stretched for the heavens and walks upon the waves of the seas. He is the one that called the things which be not as though they were. Praise ye the Lord. See, he is seated in heavens, clothed in light as with a garment, and he has stretched for the heavens as a curtain. Let us praise the Lord. He established the world by his wisdom, created the whole universe by his power, and by understanding he has stretched out the whole universe. Let us praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. See, by his outbreathing, he gave life to clay and gave him dominion over all creation. In his infinite mercies, he chose Israel. Forty years, he sustained them in the wilderness. They lacked nothing. Their clothes did not wax old, neither did their feet swell. He divided the seas right before them, and they walked through on the dry land. He provided manna for them daily, and waters gushed out from the rocks for their sakes. Let us praise the Lord. See, when the human race fell, his grace overtook us, raised us up, and set us in high places in Christ Jesus. See, his anger, anger was quenched by... By 40 lashes, by 40 but one lashes, one torn crown, and then three nails. And so now we have become the very children of God, set in high places. We have become the conquerors, wonders of the world. Let us praise the Lord. See, he has lifted us, translated us from the kingdom of darkness into his kingdom of his marvelous sons. Now we have become the very children of God, heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ. Let us praise thee, the Lord. Let us praise him for this manifold mercy that has been made available to us. For through this extravagant mercy, we have now been born into a new kingdom. Let us praise the Lord.
bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. He who has forgiven all your iniquities, he who has healed all your diseases, he who has redeemed your life from destruction, he who has crowned you with tender mercies and loving kindness, who has satisfied your mouth with good things. Let us praise the Lord. See, all we have ever needed, his grace has provided on Calvary 2,000 years ago. Oh Lord, our God, who can be compared unto you? You are the King of all kings and Lord of all lords. You are seated high in the heavens. And to the extent of your greatness, there is no end. Let us praise the Lord, for he has done exceedingly great things. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you happy to be here this morning? We are going to praise God. It's our month of praises and thanksgiving. We're going to give thanks unto the Lord. So join us as we praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And speak in tongues. Oh, shut up. Of my heart. 
Praise the Lord. He wants you to bring it this way. Okay. He's going to do himself. Well, are you glad you're in church? Are you ready to give the Lord some praises this morning? How many of you came with your dancing shoes? Wow. Today is going to be a very special dancing time. I'm coming to show you in the word why you need to dance, okay? Are you ready? Kindly take your seats in heavenly places. Father, thank you for this morning. Thank you for your precious Holy Spirit who is present in us and with us here this morning. Thank you for the ministry of your word. Thank you for the ministry of your spirit. Thank you that our hearts and our minds are engrafted with your word. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you for productivity and fruitfulness for every single one of us, even in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So we are sharing these things with you uh, just to help you have understanding. If you read in Psalm 47, verse 6, look at Psalm 47, verse 6. I have a very short message to share with you, okay? Maybe 20 minutes, 30 minutes stops. Yes, and then we praise God. He says, sing praises to God. Sing praises. Then he says, sing praises unto our king. Sing praises. So singing is very important. So you can't say you are praising God and then you are like this. He's, he's letting you know that you need to sing. Do you understand singing? What is singing? Singing. Uh, opening your mouth to sing. Hallelujah. Sing what? Praises to God. Sing praises. Sing praises unto our king. Sing praises. Next verse. For God is the king of all the earth. Then it says, sing ye praises with understanding. That is why we are teaching you the word of God. So that you can have understanding. So that as you are singing, there will be some understanding with which you are doing the singing. You are not just singing for singing sake, but you are singing with understanding. Last week I taught you how to praise God with your heart. For, for you to have results along this line, you need to praise God with your heart. It has to stem. It says, out of them shall proceed what? Shall proceed praises, isn't it? Out of them, out of their hearts shall proceed praises. Hallelujah. Now, when, when it comes to praises, eh, like I said, it always works. Can you imagine? Always. Not sometimes. Not when you feel good enough. It always works. And you need to do it the right way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. With the right understanding. That is what we are teaching you. So that you have the right understanding. Can you imagine that, like I said the last time, praise is the highest expression of faith. You see, unlike faith, eh, there's a little difference between praise and faith. You can't try, you can't try faith out. Do you see? Let's say what someone procured by faith cannot be tried. You need to grow your faith. You need to grow in faith to a particular level to be able to do what that person did. Please, do you understand? Faith is a seed that must be planted, okay? And it's planted at your new birth. If you read in Romans chapter 12, verse 3, the Bible says, let no man think, let's look at it, more highly than he ought. For I say through the grace given unto me to every man that is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly, according as God has dealt to every man the measure of faith. So God gives everybody a certain measure. He's, he uses a definite article, the measure of faith. So every child of God has faith. The faith that you need to move mountains is given to you at your new birth, free of charge. Can you imagine? Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Then you, you, you grow that faith. So your faith can either be strong or weak, okay? Um, huge or small, great or small. Do you see? The more you listen to the word of God, the more you increase in faith. So what you, what you procure by faith, um, 
on a certain level cannot be it, it, you can't someone can't do it the way you did it let's say someone says oh i did this by faith and i got this result i prayed this prayer and i got this result do you see uh-huh let's say you know, a person was looking for a child and the person puts her his or her faith to work and got a child okay you can't just put your faith to work along a certain line and get that same result you need to get to a certain level of faith before you can have the result that person had by faith but it is different when it comes to praise praise can be tried out you can try praise i don't know if you get it what someone procured by by praise you can also pro procure by praise if you decide to try it out if you like the person's testimony and you want to get the same result you can try praise so praise is something you can try please you understand it's amazing how wonderful and how gracious God is. God has given us so many means of getting results. So many. So if you feel that you are not strong in faith, you are not high in faith, don't worry. Try praise. And all you need to do is to do your praise with what? With understanding. Please, you understand? With understanding. Know exactly what you want to do. It's called targeted praise. What do you want? You want a child? Praise God with having that child in mind. You want a job? Praise God with having that job in mind. Please, you understand? Targeted with understanding. Know exactly what you want. Know exactly why you are doing what you are doing. And you will get your results. <laughs> Hallelujah. You tell anybody you can try it. Yeah, if you feel it is, it is not true, just try. Let's say someone says, I, I, I praise God and I got this. Okay, then me too, I'm going to try it. You'll be surprised at what will happen when you also try it. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do you like what I'm telling you? Yeah. <laughs> so it is a very nice, um, you can fast and pray and do all kinds of things and may not have a certain result. You, you fasted, you've done all kinds of things. It's not working. Don't worry. Try praise now. Try praise. Tell me about try praise. Try, praise. try praising and thanking God. Wow. wow. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It always works. What you need to do is to praise God with understanding. Out, and that's what, I, that's what I'm teaching you. That's why we teach you on praise and thanksgiving. So that when you are practicing it, you have a certain understanding. Hallelujah. Look at Psalm 149 from verse 1. Psalm 149 from verse 1. So unlike faith, praise can be tried. It can. You have to grow in faith. You don't have to grow in praise. Praise with understanding. That's all. So it is God, it's like, uh, that's why I said, you, you, praise is what you do when you don't know what to do. Do you see? When it's like you've tried everything, it's not working. Just go, pray, start praising God and thanking God for what you have. You see, the Lord expects your thanksgiving. It's very important to the Lord. He expects your thanksgiving. When the ten lepers were healed by Jesus Christ, one of them returned to thank God, to thank him. And he said, ah, were there, were there not ten of you? Where are the rest? So he's waiting, he's expecting your thanksgiving. Don't be an, an, an ungrateful Christian. There are a lot of ungra ungrateful Christians in the world. Not acknowledging God for what he has done for them. The fact that you have life is good enough reason to praise God. Yeah. You may not have any money in your pockets. It makes no difference. Do you have life? Yeah. Who gave you that life? Thank him for it. If you thank him for it, that money that you have been expecting will come. Are you in the church? I'm going to read some testimonies to you. Real life testimonies. Yeah. Just thank him for what you have. Instead of complaining and thinking that I don't know what I'm going to do with myself. I've tried this, I've tried that, I've tried this. Just praise God. Praise God. Tell me about praise God. Praise Look at this. It says, praise ye the Lord. Sing unto the Lord a new song. So he always talks about singing. Eh? Singing. Tell me about singing. singing. Don't be quiet. Quiet Christian. 
You don't, you don't, when we are singing, what, what are some of the songs you sing? Creator of the universe. And then you are standing there. We are praising God. We are not praising ourselves, so we are praising God. Maybe you don't think that he exists. Maybe you don't think that he's around. Yeah, that's why you can be quiet. All those who are like that, their blessings are very far. You, the blessing, it doesn't show forth. When it comes to this particular thing, and there's a way to go about it. If you want to see results, real results, eh? praise God with understanding. Be serious about it. Don't look at who is around you. Don't think about who is around. Do you understand what I'm saying? Don't consider who is looking or who is not looking. You, I'm coming, you, I'll tell you. He says, praise you the Lord. Sing unto the Lord the new song. And his praise in the congregation of saints. In the congregation that we are in now. In our sitting now. He says, praise him in the congregation of saints. As we have come together like this, it's time to praise him. Do you like what I'm saying to you? So start getting ready. Start getting ready. Getting ready. Hmm. Look at the next verse. Let Israel rejoice in him. That made him. Did the Lord make you? He says rejoice in him. That made you. Let the children of Zion be joyful in their heart. In their king. Sorry. Let them be joyful in their king. Next verse. Let them praise his name in the dance. Let them sing praises unto him with the timbrel and harp. Next verse. For the Lord taketh pleasure in his people. He will beautify the meek with salvation. Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. So he says even when you are sleeping, sing aloud unto him. Wow. The word praise that we've been reading all this while. In all of the Old Testament, the word praise, okay, is halal. Most of the time, it's the word halal. The, Greek, the Hebrew word is halal. H-A-L-A-L. Halal. Okay? Do you know what it means? It means to be clamorously foolish. When we say clamorously, what we mean is from the word clamor. It means to make intense, loud sounds. Okay? Intense, loud shouts. Hallelujah. That's what it means. So when we say praise the Lord, what we are saying is that make an intense, loud shout. An intense, loud noise. So all the places you've been seeing, praise, praise, praise. He's, he's letting you know that make a loud noise. Make a loud noise. An intense loud noise. And be foolish about it. Are you surprised? He says be foolish about it. Don't be gentle about it. Be foolish about it. To make clamorously foolish foolish noise. Yes. That's what it means to praise. You can check it. I'm not the one saying it. It's, it's there. I'm not the one saying it. It means to make... Let me, let me read it well for you. So that you know that I'm not just saying something. It means to act foolishly. Can you imagine? It means what? Act foolishly. So you are allowed. There's a particular time where you are allowed to act foolishly in the house of God. And it's this joint praise. <laughs> it means to act madly. Am I, am I going? It's not, it's, not, it's not inside. To act madly. To act like a madman. To act like a madman. You are too cultured for what I'm saying. You are too dressed for what I like. It's like... Do you, I don't know if you are 
see what I'm telling you. This is the Bible. I'm not the one saying it. To some assault. I feel like I want to some assault. <laughs> yeah, to act foolishly before the Lord. To act like a madman before the Lord. To shout like you are mad. You see, it's not, it's not because we don't, it's like we don't know what you want to do. We know, so it's called praising with understanding. You know exactly what you're doing. You know exactly what you're doing. You are shouting his name. He says, praise his name. Sing praise to his name. Shout his name out loud. Like you are mad. When you get out, you, dress, you move nicely. you like, nothing has happened. You know what you have done. Yeah. It always gets results. Always. The Bible says that the Lord is fearful in praise. Exodus chapter 15 verse 11. Let's look at it. So don't be, don't be, don't be gentle along these lines. Do you understand what I'm saying? It says, who is like unto thee, O Lord, among the gods, who is like unto thee, glorious in holiness, fearful in praises, doing wonders. So as you are shouting his name like that, he says he's fearful in praise. He's fearful in praises. I don't know what you're looking for. I don't know what you're looking for. I don't know what, you're, what is on your mind, what's on your heart. Maybe there's not, there's, you, don't, you don't even need a reason to praise God. There shouldn't be any reason. Praise him because you love him. He's God. Praise him. As, like I said, if you don't have any reason, at least you have life. Thank him for what you have. Are you in the church? So you sing out loud. Make noise like you are mad. Some of you don't like to sweat when you come to the house of God. You see, your makeup looks the same way when you're exiting. That is why you may end up staying on a certain level for a very long time. Now, this month is our month of praise. Today is, the, is, today is our praise. Next week, I'm not going to pre pre preach about praise and thanksgiving. This is the last one. So this is the last service for praise and thanksgiving. Do you see? So if you have not sweated the whole year, today, sweat before you go out. Let there be a change in your visage before you go out. Hallelujah. Go back to Psalm 149. Let's read from verse, from verse 1 again. Okay? It's nice. Praise the Lord. What does it mean? Make clamorously foolish, loud, intense noise to the Lord. Sing unto the Lord a new song and his praise in the congregation of saints. Sing his praise in the congregation. Next verse. Let Israel rejoice in him that made him. Let the children of Zion be joyful in their king. If for nothing, rejoice in the one who made you. Rejoice in the fact that he made you. And that everything you have has come from him. Next verse. Then it says, let them praise his name in the dance. So it is not only singing, but dancing is praises to the Lord. It says, let them, let them praise his name in the dance. In the dance. Do you understand what I'm talking about? Yeah. In the dance. In other words, your dance is praises to the Lord. So what he's saying, so he says, let them praise his, his name in the dance. What he's saying is that let them make clamorously loud, intense noise in their dancing. All to the Lord. In other words, let them behave foolishly in their dancing. You see, you don't like what I'm saying. Listen, don't be too cultured when it comes to these things, though. Religion is, is eating you up. Don't, let, don't be too nice when it comes to these things. I, I, I don't know. Maybe you don't want something. Maybe you don't want, maybe you don't want to see something happening around you. Maybe you are comfortable with the way things have been the whole year. This is last show. These are, this kind of praise is what gets you a 24-hour miracle. Something that happens within 24 hours. Something happens in six hours. Yeah, it's amazing. 
It's an amazing thing how it always works. You see, you see I'm, not, I'm not lying. Eh? It's in the Bible. To make a fool of, make into a fool. To boast, glory, make one's boast. To act madly, act like a madman. I see, to be praised, to, to be made praiseworthy, be commended, be worthy of praise. In other words, commend God for all that he is, all that he has done, and act foolishly about it. And to shine forth his praise, isn't it? To flash forth light, to praise, boast, be boastful. You see, I'm not the one saying, it's there. Hallelujah. He says, praise him, praise his name in the dance. In other words, act foolishly in the dance. It is for the Lord. No formula. You don't need to know how to dance or anything. We are not coming to do, it's not choreography time. We are praising the Lord. It is unto who? It's unto the Lord. Are you in the church? Go to 2 Samuel. If you think what I'm saying is not true, it's in the Bible. Go to 2 Samuel. Let me show it to you. 2 Samuel. Let's read chapter 6 from verse 12. <laughs> someone heard that someone was dancing because he had pain. He had pain in his body. This lady had menstrual cramps, a lot of menstrual cramps, whenever she's in a mess. And I, when the pastor preached what I'm telling you now, they were, she was in a mess and she was in pain. As the pastor was preaching, he said, ah, this pain must, must leave. So they started praising God. When he started praising, she was dancing like she was mad. And the one standing by her said, ah, are you a soldier? He said, she said, you don't know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. Please leave me alone. And she continued dancing. The pain stopped that moment. And as she was dancing, she said to herself, she had not had a child, and she wanted to have a child. She said to herself, I'm going to have a child today. I'm going to conceive today. She went forward and danced. The pastor came out and said, you'll be having a child today. You'll get pregnant today. Can you imagine? Nine to ten months later from that time, she, was, she gave birth. She had a baby in her hand and came to give a testimony. Yeah, that is, that is how serious what I'm saying to you is. Yeah, you are looking for a job. You don't have a job. You have prayed. You have fasted. You have gone for waiting. You have done everything. It's not, nothing is happening. He says, God is fearful in praise. He inhabits the praise of his people. I told you last week, this is what gets God to show up. God is in you. But when you praise God like this, he comes out of you into your praise like that. And whatever you are praising him for or about... It's solved. It's sorted out. Maybe an angel has been sent and he has been blocked in the heavens for 21 days and has not come. If you believe in such things. Those things are not true in, a, in the New Testament. You know? But the Lord shows forth in praise. He's fearful in praise. Look at this. And it was told King David saying, The Lord has blessed the house of Obedidom and all that pertained unto him because of the ark of God. So David went and brought up the ark of God from the house of Bedidom into the city of David with gladness, with joy, with excitement, with dancing. You know, earlier on, he had tried to bring the Ark of Covenant into Jerusalem, and it was not working. The Ark of Covenant was supposed to be on the shoulders of the priests. But David was so excited, he did the wrong thing. He put the Ark of Covenant on a cart, on a cart driven by some horses. And as they were going, they got to a certain treasure for a place where uh, the, the place was not smooth enough. So the, the Ark tilted a bit and was going to fall. And one of the guys who was by it, named Uzzah, touched it. And when he touched the Ark of Covenant, no, because no human being is supposed to touch the Ark of Covenant, apart from the priest. When Uzzah touched it, the Bible says the anger of the Lord was kindled against him. God was angry when they, when they started the whole process, because that's not what he said they should do. But they were, they were doing it like that. The Ark of Covenant belongs on the shoulders of the priest, not on a new car. David was so excited, he bought a new car. And put the Ark of Covenant inside. So God, so the Bible says David was afraid of God from that day forward. Where they got to, they got to the the the, the house in front of which they had that problem was Obedidom's house. So they just left the Ark of Covenant in Obedidom's house. And when the Ark of Covenant was, was there for three months, Obedidom just started prospering. All his businesses were working. Everything was fine. Everything was going on. Then David realized that ah, there's nothing wrong with the Ark. It's actually us because this guy is prospering with the Ark. Me too, I need to prosper. So when he heard that Obedidom was prospering, he said, okay, let's go for it. But he had read from the scriptures and had gotten to know the right way of doing things. Meaning that God wants things to be done in a particular way. If you do it for him, he's satisfied with it, he's pleased with you. 
Do you know that your praise, it says that your praises is pleasing, is well pleasing to God. Let, let's go back. Go back to uh, Psalm 149. There are other ves verses that I can show to you, but I'll sh I want to show you this one. Verse, go to verse 4. Let's read 3 to 4. Let them praise, him, praise his name in the dance. Let them sing praise unto him with their timbrel and harp. Next verse. For the Lord take a pleasure in his people. Have you seen it? It says the Lord takes pleasure in his people. It pleases the Lord when they, when they praise him in the dance. It is pleasing to him. And because it's pleasing to him, he says he will beautify the, the meek with salvation. Have you seen it? Yeah. So your praises, he wants you to praise him in a certain way. And it is pleasing to him. Now, go back to 2 Samuel, where we're reading. Do you like what I'm telling you? Yeah. So David learned that Obedon was, was being blessed. So he went for the ark. Next verse, verse 13. And it was so that when they were, when they that bear the ark of the Lord, so now he did the right thing, they were, they were bearing it on their shoulders had gone six spaces. When they go one, two, three, four, five, six, they put it down and they sacrifice to the Lord. Can you imagine? He sacrificed organ and fatlings. They go another six spaces, he sacrifices. Another six spaces, he sacrifices. At the point, he started dancing. Look at the next verse. And David danced before the Lord. With what? Oh, With what? Oh, if you feel you are too nice to dance. This was the king of Israel. He had a lot to be proud about. And a lot to be to be disciplined about. He was a president of the country. The Bible says he danced with all. He danced before. It's before the Lord. It's not before somebody. It's before the Lord. He says, "Let them praise His name in the dance. In the dance. Let them act foolishly in the dance. Let them shout madly in the dance." Wow. wow. That is why when you go to Winners Chapel, they are the number one dancers and praises in the whole world. There's no church in the world that dances and praises God like they do because they understand this. They've been taught. That's what I'm teaching you. And the, I'm, the, testimony, I'm, the testimony I'm going to read is from them. Plenty of testimonies. Dancing testimonies. When they dance, miracle. And what, this is cheaper than any other thing that you can, you can think about. This is the easiest thing in the world. One dance, one miracle. One meaningful dance to the Lord, one miracle. What is, what, so, which, what is preventing you? What is stopping you? One sweat, one miracle. Yeah, it's as simple as that. Umpe we up a day. This one, there's nothing like faith. Like put your faith to work. It's not working. Pastor, I don't know what's going on. Listen, I, we tried faith. I remember we were listening to messages on faith so much. My wife said, well, I'm tired. I don't know if you remember. We used to sleep with messages on faith by Pastor Chris. Uh, faith proclamations, and then uh, um, there was this other message. A pack, uh, we selected them, and it is on. Playing all the time. We're looking for a child. We're praying for a child. It wasn't coming. Trying to put our faith to work, soaking in to build up our faith. We built up our faith. Hey, build, 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 build. But it wasn't, it wasn't working as it was supposed to. When we started praising God. When we started praising God, and started thanking Him for what. He has already done because we knew that we would have children. And there was nothing wrong with any of us. There was nothing wrong with any of us. Yeah, there was nothing wrong. But the child, you know, they show up. Hey, what are you going to do? Yeah, the frustration of a couple that's in mind for a long time without a child cannot be compared to any other form of frustration. It's not possible. Especially in Africa. Your mother will call you, your father will call you. Your, your mother-in-law will call you. Your father-in-law will call you. Your auntie will call you. What are you waiting for? What, why? What is going on? Is there something wrong? They'll call you. Should we go to the hospital? If you can't pay, we'll pay for you. What do you want? I want my grandchildren. There's someone whose mother-in-law will call every month to check. Is she pregnant? Every month they'll call. Is she pregnant? Is she pregnant? Is she pregnant? Is she pre it's not a small thing, oh. But there's a cheap way to get up, go about it. There's an easy way to go about it. Don't worry about faith. Maybe you have faster than prayed. It's not happening. That job is not showing up. You have faster than prayed. It's not happening. It's in the dance. It's in that foolish dance. Look at David. David danced before the Lord with all of his might. And David was gathered with the lining effort. Next verse. Continue. So David and all the house of Israel brought up the ark of the Lord with shouting. Have you seen it? 
shouting, clamorous noise, loud, intense noise. Wow! And with the sound of the trumpets. Next verse. And as the ark of the Lord came into the city of David, Mikal, Saul's daughter, looked through a window. There are always two people in the church. Always two. Those who are looking and those who are dancing. Hey! Which one are you? Which one are you? Mikal's daughter looked through a window and saw King David leaping. The guy was leaping and dancing before the Lord. He was leaping like that. Can you imagine? He was just moving. <laughs> leaping and dancing before, like a madman. And she despised him in his heart. In her heart. How, how, how can the king of Israel be dancing like that? President, you don't respect yourself. Like, respect yourself a little. Yeah. You are disgracing me. Tell me, but leave me and let me dance. If you won't dance, I will dance. It's an instruction from the Lord. Yeah. If you won't dance, I will dance. He was leaping and dancing before the Lord. Anyway. Yeah. Leaping and dancing before the Lord. And she despised him in her heart. Next verse. And they brought in the ark of the Lord and set it in this place. In the midst of the tabernacle that David had pitched for it. And David offered burnt offerings and peace offerings before the Lord. Next verse. And as soon as David had made an end of offering. Go to the next, go to the next verse. Verse 19. Go to the next verse 20. And David said unto Micah. Okay, go to 20. No, 20 please. Then David returned to bless that his household too. If he blessed Israel, gave them cakes and wine and all of that to, for everybody to be happy, then he went to his own house to also go and pray for his house and bless his house. And his wife, Michal, the daughter of Saul, came out to meet David and said, how glorious, he was mocking him. She was mocking him. How glorious was the king of Israel today? Yenimu and Yenimu. W N W. If we know, we know you. How glorious was the king of Israel today? Who uncovered himself today in the eyes of the handmaids of, of his servants. As one of the vain fellows shamelessly uncovered himself. So he was dancing and looking like a vain fellow. Let's be amplified. You, you, you understand a little bit. How glorious was the king of Israel today, who stripped himself of his kingly robes and uncovered himself in the eyes of his servants' maids as one of the worthless fellows shamelessly uncovers himself. David danced and looked like a worthless fellow before the Lord, as though someone one who did not have sense. He was rolling on the floor, sitting on the floor and scratching his buttons on the floor like that, dancing to the Lord. Some assaulting, and his wife was looking. All the fine girls in the church, you are making you can watch it. You are removing, you are uncovering yourself before the fine girls in the church. Hey, what a shock! Look at David's response. Look at David's response. David said to Michal, It was before the Lord. This, this is a clear marital disagreement. If you want to see quarrels in marriage, it's in the Bible. There are quarrels in marriage. David said to me, it was before the Lord who chose me above your father. <laughs> and all your father's house was to appoint me as prince over Israel. I know what the Lord has done for me. If you don't know me, I know. If you don't know what the Lord has done, me, I know what he has done. He chose me above your father. And all of your father's house and appointed me prince over Israel. The people of the Lord, therefore will I make merry. In pure enjoyment before the Lord. I will make merry in pure enjoy enjoyment before the Lord. Look at the next verse. I will be still more lightly esteemed than this. And will humble and lower myself in my own sight. And yours. But by the maze you mentioned, I will be held in honor. Yeah, you think you are, you are saying something. Who? Oh, do honor me. What do you mean? It's before the Lord. 
Let's read the, the King James. He says, I will yet make myself vile. I will yet be more vile. Do you understand vile? Mad, useless. I will misbehave before the Lord. When we finish dancing, then we'll put on our suits, everything, and then Then we'll teach. So the Lord said that we should go like that. Yeah, it's time to praise the Lord. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. This message says, more recklessly even than this. And as far as I'm concerned, I will gladly look like a fool. Hmm? Let's read from verse 20, 21 into 22. Message, I think it will be nice. They replied to Mikhail, in God's presence, I'll dance all I want. He chose me over your father and the rest of, your, of our family and made me praise over God's people, over Israel. Oh, yes, I will dance to God's glory. Oh, yes. Tell them about, oh, yes. I will dance to God's glory. Next verse. More recklessly, I will dance in a reckless manner, even than this. And as far as I'm concerned, I will gladly look like a fool. But among these men you are so worried about, I'll be honored, no end. Next verse. Mikael, Saul's daughter, was buying the rest of her life. She became buying from that day onwards. Yeah, because she was standing and mocking. Hey, I don't know what's asked. Why are they dancing like that? Why are they moving up? Don't say something. Dance. Even if you don't understand, you did that. Just dance. Don't say anything in your head. Lest you give yourself a problem. You understand? Whenever you see something you don't understand, don't criticize it. Learn that, learn that thing in your life. Don't criticize what you don't understand. Okay? Yeah. There are things that are too high for you. David said, I will not speak of things that are too high for me. Yeah, there are things that are too high. You don't understand. You may not have had understanding yet, so don't, don't talk. Especially the things of God. Especially the things of God. Don't talk. Don't criticize rich men. You see, don't criticize rich men and the things they do. Someone bought a, a shirt, a gold shirt for five million dollars, some years ago. That's his money. What is your? Get yours. Get yours and do what you want to do. What do you think? Yeah. So praising God foolishly is scriptural. It says praise him in the dance. And you're praising him like that is well pleasing to him. Go back to that place. Uh, Psalm 149, verse 3 into verse 4. Let them praise his name in the dance. And I've showed you, I've explained it to you, right? Let them sing praises unto him with the timbrel and harp. Sometimes you go to some churches, some people come with uh, Vuvuzela, what, Konka, that thing that they, what's it called? What? Africhutua. Fichua. Eh, I've never heard, I, I don't know, I know it, but I don't know the name. Fichua. Wow, is there any other name for it? What's the English name? Fichua. Fichua. Wow. Yeah. When here we are doing praises, come with all kinds of things. Come and make noise. We don't care. It's between you and your God. I mean, you should go to this this thing. It works so much that when we went to when we went for Shiloh, five minutes before the service starts, everybody starts shouting. It's, it's like a stadium because they know that if they don't hear the word cry, this one there, they can do and get their miracle <laughs> <laughs> and go home before the service. Oh, everybody, five minutes. And normally there's a countdown. Yeah. When it gets to uh, a minute to the, the service starting, everybody, hey! Hey! I always wondered what they were doing. Until I started understanding these things. I was like, oh, that is why. This is the cheapest way to get miracles. Yeah, cheapest. People eat leaves and become healed. I tell you, people eat sand and are healed. In the, in the place, so people do all kinds of things. Wow. Someone roll, when he rolls, he's walking again. I mean, all kinds of things happen. Yeah, praises, just praises. Yeah. Testimonies, cars. People just, car testimonies are the smallest, like I got a car. And so that one is, is okay. Yeah. They shout, and when it's, when it's time for praises, oh, brother. You should see it. They are spoiling there for the Lord. 
Nobody cares about anybody. Don't look at anybody. Uh, don't look at anybody. Don't feel like when I, when I do some things, the other person will see me in a certain way. It is the other person's problem. What do you think what I'm saying? Tell anybody it is your problem. It is not my problem. Let them praise his name in the dance. Let them sing praise unto him with the timbrel and harp. For the Lord taketh pleasure in his people. Then he says, he will beautify the meek with salvation. He will beautify his people with salvation. The word beautify is to adorn with glory. It's to, it's to dress somebody with glory. So he says, he will adorn your life. He will beautify your life with salvation. You see, salvation is healing, deliverance, blessings, joy, glory. Every good thing you can think about is in salvation. He says, as you praise me like this, I will beautify your life. Because I'm pleased. He is fearful in praise. So I don't know what is on your heart. I've tried it, it has worked for me, so I like it. I've tried it not once, not twice. I've done it more than once. Whenever there's a very serious problem, and I'm th I realize I'm thinking about it, when I catch myself thinking about it, I'm like, ah, why am I worrying myself? The Bible says be anxious for nothing. But in all things, with prayer. And what? And supplication. With thanksgiving. Make your request known to God. So I'll make my request known and I'll start thanking God. I'll start praising God for it. And it almost always works. Not almost, always it works. You see, sometimes you don't remember what I'm saying now. You will not remember that you need to thank God. You will not remember. It takes a long time before, ah, I'm supposed to be thanking God for what, for what is happening. So one of the questions you'll be asking people when they come to you with problems, like as a pastor, ask them, have you praised God for it? Have you started praising God for it? It's one of the questions to ask. Because they may have done a lot of things, but not this particular one. Because people don't remember. It's very difficult to remember. The devil knows how powerful it is, so he, makes, he intentionally helps us to forget. <laughs> intentionally helps us to forget. So whatever is happening to your body, in your family, in your work, wherever that you want to change, this is your opportunity. Next, verse 5. Look at verse 5. Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. Verse 6. I finish. Tell anybody he has finished. Let the high praises of God, hmm? let the high praise of God be in their mouth. And the two edged sword in their hand. What's the two edged sword? The word. So he's saying that the, your praises goes with the word of God, understanding the word of God. Next verse. To execute vengeance. As we praise the Lord, vengeance is executed upon the heathen and punishment upon the people. Whoever is giving you any problem anywhere. Someone called me and said that she was told by her prophet. A prophet that her glory has been locked by her cousin in their village in one room. I was telling my wife about it. When she said that, I said, hey, stop saying what you're saying. Stop saying what you're saying. Who is that cousin that can lock your glory in a, in a, in a, in a, in a cupboard in a, in a certain room in your village? What are you talking about? Is that cousin more powerful than God? Start thanking God for your life. Start praising God for what he's bringing to you. Yeah. Start praising God for what he's bringing to you. So he executes vengeance. Yeah. This is a demonic prophecy, eh? To execute vengeance upon the hidden and punishment upon the people. You know, normally when the prophets prophesy like that, they leave it like that. Prophecy is not supposed to come to put fear in you. Prophecy is for the purpose of edification, for exhortation, and comfort. Prophecy is the ministry of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit brings comfort. Jesus did not say, I will not leave you another helper. The word he chose to use, he could have said helper, uh, advocate, every other thing. But he chose the word comforter. The ministry of the Holy Spirit today in our time is to bring you comfort. He says, I will not leave you as orphans. The Holy Spirit wants you to, have, to be comforted in life, not to be anxious or to be afraid. So if a prophecy comes to you and is making you anxious and making you afraid, tell that prophet that I reject that prophecy right now. Right before him. There's a way to receive prophecy. Don't be there. As you're saying, then you're also there, you're looking. No, don't just be there. If what he's saying is not right, tell him right there in front of the, in the service. I refuse it in Jesus' name. I refuse, I reject it. Don't be a Christian who just receives prophecy like a, you are, you are, you are a blue man. 
You are just there. Then they are saying, you are going to die. You are going to be barren. Your womb is, your womb is finished. Then you start crying. <laughs> your cry is making what they are saying real in your life. They are, every prophecy is in part. And prophesies in part. They have not seen the full thing. The full thing is written in the scriptures for you. What has God said concerning you? What has God said concerning you? No, no, no. I mean, your life is full of glory. Don't let anybody come and say anything. And I see, I see death. Someone called me and said that he's seen death entering my house. I said, he's entering your house, not my house. I'm mad. What do you mean? No. Nobody's dying. Nobody's dying under our watch. What are you talking about? Jesus has abolished death and has brought life and immortality to light. That is what, that is, what is my portion. Yeah. So don't just receive prophecy, okay? Yeah. Receive it right. It's supposed to comfort you and bring you comfort. Ah, my life is like a yeah. That's what prophecy is supposed to do, to make your heart fall inside your stomach. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> yeah. So your praise executes vengeance upon the heathen and punishment upon the people, all those who are worrying you. Next verse, verse 8. To bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron. Verse 9. To execute upon the, the judgment upon to ex execute upon them the judgment written. This honor have all his saints. Then he says, Praise the Lord. This is the honor that all the saints have. If you praise the Lord, you will have victory in every single thing that you want. Every single aspect of your life. So if you are ready, like I am ready, rise up upon your feet. And let's invite. Elder Dell. For the next 20 minutes. Ah, we have the situation. Beautiful. Sit yeah. Give the Lord a mighty shout. Glory. Glory. Shout glory. 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 Say I have the victory. Victory. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Come and see what the Lord has done for me. He has taken away my sorrows and I am free. I Because of Jesus every day na shadarade. Double and double the heavenly blessings. Come and see what the Lord has done for me. He has taken away my sorrows and I am free. I got hallelujah, hallelujah. Victory. He has given me victory. 
some power. Messiah didn't go anymore. I'm an overcomer. Yes, what he could name. Yes, what he could name. Over Satan power. Messiah didn't go anymore. I'm an overcomer. I'm working in our mind to say, oh, God.
You believe that? To glory. God is taking us. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, like that. From glory.
chosen generation call for to show is a silence all i require for life god has given me i know who i am we are the chosen generation we are a chosen generation and call for to show all i require Super! 
are not just large, oh. You are a gay guy. You are
of an endless victories for you. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Whatever has not changed this year, next year, before the first three months is over, you will be laughing your way through. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Give the Lord a shout! Because you are sweating for the Lord right now. You will have many sweatless victories in 2021. Many sweatless victories. Sweatless victories. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Sweatless victories. That is what I'm hearing for you. Get ready to break forth to the left, to the right, in front. You will go ahead. You will go forward. All the days of your life. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Sweatless victories! Give the Lord a shout! Hallelujah! You may kindly take your seats in the heavenly places. Wow! Take up a good offering. Hallelujah! Listen, normally when we do Thanksgiving service, like it's supposed to come with a Thanksgiving seed. But we've not spoken about it, so... We didn't tell you. But then I want you to give double of what you give on a normal Sunday. Give times two of what you've been giving. If you've been giving one city every Sunday, give two cities. If you've been giving 50 cities every Sunday, give 100 cities today. 
If you've been giving 100 cities, give 200. If you've been giving 500, give 1,000 today. Okay? Thank God with your offerings. Yeah, it's very important. Hallelujah. We'll, next year, we'll do it properly. So that when you're coming, you come with your seed. You come with your thanksgiving seed. You just say thank you to the Lord. Hallelujah. So package a good offering. Let's invite Pastor Kobe to come and take the offering and bless us and close us. Hallelujah. Wow. Something has changed. Hallelujah. Yeah. I mean... I was seeing God, the Holy Spirit was talking to me plenty. I was seeing things about specific people, things about us as a ministry, things about us as a branch. Hallelujah. We have entered into another level. We've been entered. It's like God is just bombarding us left, right, center. Hallelujah. And it's going to be great. Hallelujah. Is your offering ready? Just lift it up and just thank God. Just open your hearts and just say, thank you, Jesus. I love you. Thank you, Father. This is our sweet fragrance. We say thank you for all you've done for us from the beginning of the year till now. And even more for the promise of what you are going to do with us as we step into the new year. We thank you. We say we are grateful. We don't take it lightly for choosing us, for calling us, for putting your name upon us. Thank you, Father. And we declare by faith that our lives will cause others to give thanks to you in the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, amen. I think we should rise up upon our feet and give the Lord our last dance. Jesus, sorry, If you are giving your mind, I want you to dance forward right now. If you are giving your mind, In the coming year, you will laugh from the beginning to the end. Yeah. And your life will be full of surprises. You'll do strange things. Father, in the name of Jesus, these are Titus. We have presented the tent of all that you have blessed us with. We acknowledge your word and we know that this is yours. Father, every blessing that comes with Titan, it is upon our houses, it is upon our lives, it is upon our families, it is upon our businesses, it is upon our ministries. In the name of the Lord Jesus, the devourer is rebuked. No losses for you. No casualties for you. No disasters in your court. No misfortunes around you. The devil cannot touch anything of yours. Because you are a tighter. 
and the windows of heaven are open unto you. There is rain upon everything that you plant in the name of the Lord Jesus. Your business is flourishing. Your ministry is flourishing. Your family is flourishing in the name of the Lord Jesus. The anointing of God is upon everything that you do. And I declare that it is spreading from coast to coast. In Jesus' name. Amen. Ashes kindly receive it. Can we continue the song? If you are giving your partnership, kindly join in. If you are giving your partnership, kindly join in. If you are giving your partnership, I see you giving your first 10,000 next year. Yeah. Maybe you've never given 1,000 before. But next year, you are going to give your first 10,000 Ghana cities. And you will not feel it. Hallelujah. You have entered into the 10,000 in the name of the Lord Jesus. But I pray for these partners. Thank you. That month in, month out. Month in, month out. They grow in the name of the Lord Jesus. Let the influence of the Spirit be tangible in their lives. Every decision they make in the name of the Lord Jesus, let it be that which is inspired by the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Father. I declare them blessed. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. Thank you, dear Holy Spirit. You are blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. Kindly receive it. Please help her up. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Please come, come, come and let's pray over all of it. Father, in the stretch out your hands to us, all the offerings. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for giving to us to give. Stretch out your hands to us. Father, we bless these offerings. Thank you, Father that prosperity will never leave these gates in the name of Jesus. And thank you that these monies are blessed. They increase. We thank you for them. And we declare that they increase. And they do more. And they have ability and they have power. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Can you take your seats? On the 24th, hallelujah. We are having another wonderful time in worship. Hallelujah. Are you ready to sing to God? And love God? And adore God? Listen, the greatest privilege you can have is to have a heart for God. You know, if you sit down and you notice that like, you enjoy God. Sometimes there are some people where as we are singing and dancing, it doesn't, it doesn't move you. Hallelujah. I declare that it will move you in Jesus' name if you are here like that. But when you notice that it is moving you like that, it is a big privilege. It's something that people are praying for. And things like this, singing in worship, it, it draws your heart towards God. Hallelujah. So I declare that on the 24th, by the time you are leaving this place, you leave this place in love. Literally in love with God. Hallelujah. So I want you to prepare yourself. I want you to invite people. Come with people. And come and let's worship our King. Hallelujah. If you are giving your first fruit, I know there are some people who want to give their first fruit. If you are giving your first fruit, please come forward quickly. Let's pray for you. Hallelujah. If you are giving your first fruit, kindly you close your eyes. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you. Thank you, dear Holy Spirit. This is a sign of her trust as a sign of her faith, a sign of her love and her commitment to you. I declare that even as the first has been dedicated to you, what follows is beautiful. She will flourish in the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you that she will harvest continuously from this seed. And I declare in the name of the Lord Jesus that she will never know lack 
thank you that she will not depend on this salary ever in her life in the name of the Lord Jesus that her supply will come from you month in month out in the name of the Lord Jesus we give you all the glory in Jesus name Amen God bless you for giving hallelujah and then Wednesday service we have a few Wednesday service more to have online hallelujah so Wednesday service is happening online let us enjoy it whilst it lasts Saturday we are praying hallelujah we are praying Saturday we are praying we are having stir up on Saturday morning hallelujah not this Saturday hallelujah not this Saturday oh yes Saturday is Christmas 26th hallelujah so not this Saturday hallelujah I'm sure we are finished there no one last one hallelujah and the New Year's Eve service is happening live hallelujah and we are going to be fasting into 31st we'll be fasting into the 31st I'm sure the um, 29th 30th and then 31st hallelujah and I would ask that you find time one day or some hours before 31st during one of the fasting times if you can't use the whole time to wait on God find at least a day and lock yourself somewhere and pray into the coming year okay preparing yourself and preparing your heart to receive what God has for us for next year hallelujah I think this service is the most important service of the year because we get direction concerning what God has in his mind for us for the year hallelujah so it's going to be a very powerful experience and then immediately we enter into january we have some imp important meetings and the first one we are going to have sounds of consolation conference hallelujah more information will be given but it's going to be in the first week first eight seventh and eighth of january so start preparing yourself and that first all our churches in kumasi will be coming here so make sure you are here as well hallelujah in jesus name amen i glad you came let us rise up upon our feet how do you feel it's your heart my heart is doing love on league hallelujah so just lift up your hands and just thank him one more just say thank you jesus thank you dear holy spirit say i love you holy spirit i love you jesus thank you speak in tongues if you can thank you jesus barako shatalamanda Hallelujah. Let's invite mommy. Thank you, Jesus. Continue to lift up your hands and just thank the Lord for a glorious service. Thank you, Father. We bless your name, Lord. We are grateful, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord, for answering all our prayers. Thank you, Father, for receiving our thanksgiving. We are grateful and we are thankful. Thank you for the results that have shown up all over and the testimonies that we have received. Thank you, Father, for answered prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Shall we share the grace? The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit is with us now and forevermore. In Jesus' name, surely goodness and mercy follow us all the days of our lives as we dwell in the presence of the Lord, even as his presence dwells within us. And we live and we walk and we fellowship and are filled with the Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. Give the Lord a shout. Wow. Have a wonderful, blessed week. In Jesus' name, amen. And Merry Christmas to you in advance. This week is Christmas, isn't it? So I pray that you enjoy yourself with your family. If you don't have family to enjoy yourself with, come to my house on 25th at 3 p.m. Come to my house at 3 p.m. and let's enjoy ourselves together, okay? God bless you. So, stay on it by Merry Christmas.
Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas to you. And for all those who are watching us online, Merry Christmas to you. We love you very much. God bless you. See you on 24th night for our Christmas Eve service. God bless you. Have a lovely day. What are we doing? Are we going or we are, we are coming? We go day. Hail your name. Day by day. All the way. Turning, 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 turning,